Alrighty, so today we're going to be doing the one player only rebuild and you're probably thinking well it's a 25 man roster how are you going to build or rebuild the team with just one player well what i'm going to do is i'm going to spin the wheel that we've been using it has every single team in the mlb on it and whatever team it lands on i'm going to pick one player from it and we have to build a team around that the rest of the players are going to be very low rated players so it's going to be a huge challenge so with that being said if you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always in the comment section let me know other challenges that you would like to see obviously the more you hit the like button the more i know that you enjoy the videos also guys if you guys need tickets for any sporting events baseball games the playoffs are coming up and you guys want a discount go to SeatGeek, use the code ant ortiz at checkout and get 20 dollars off so other than that guys i'm excited about this i really don't know what's going to happen it's going to be a huge challenge just to build a team around one good player and the rest are going to be like 40s and 50s so with that being said let's let's get this uh let's get this wheel all right here's the wheel for me it's right here for you guys it's on your screen you guys can see i'm up there in the top corner so i don't obviously mike trout will make mike trout would be nice but let's see who we're gonna get we're gonna get the dodgers that's actually really good and i think we're gonna take cody ballinger i think that's the best option obviously getting a good pitcher like walker bueller and stuff would be like like really good so with that it works out really good we get the dodgers let's get cody bellinger into a squad let me show you this new look dodgers especially after we only have one good player so i mean i had to i had to spread out the rest of the dodgers throughout the mlb so that the teams are kind of equal now but with that being said let me show you the team Alrighty, so like i said i spread out all the dodgers players uh, like across the mlb to different teams you guys can see we got a little bit of a budget to work with but i'm going to show you our mlb roster we currently are rocking with every player with c potential or lower as you guys can see no one no one's really good everyone's kind of in this like 60s mid 50s but like no one is any good at all so you guys can see we're rocking with a really bad team the whole point of this is to take one player and build a team into like a playoff or championship contending team so with that I already have an idea of what we're going to do. And you're probably thinking, well, free agency is never really good. You don't have any players that have any trade value. How are you going to make a good team? Well, we're going to have to do something that you probably didn't think about. And that's going to be trading Cody Ballinger. Cody Ballinger is going to be a player that we're building from one player. And that one player is obviously going to be trade bait since he's the one that has the most value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade him for three players and I'm going to take those three players and try to move them for more players until we at least have somewhat of an okay squad and then just kind of build from there. It really is building from one player. So let's see what we can do. All right. So the first trade we're going to do is Luis Urias, Chris Paddock, and then Kirby Yates for Cody Ballinger. I was trying to see what other good value players we can get. And we're getting two quality players in Paddock and Urias. Kirby Yates even has some trade value as well. I think this is a pretty good trade to kind of get some good players to branch out for. Alrighty, next trade, Chris Paddock. John is going to be traded for John Means, Dylan Bundy, and Renato Nunez. I wonder if I could get Trey Mancini. I'm just off on Trey Mancini. Hmm. Renato Nunez does have some good stats, though. So I think this will be okay. We get a third baseman and two starting pitchers that actually aren't too bad. Alrighty, for Luis Urias, we're getting uh, Ledmus Diaz, Joe Biagini, and Chris Devensky. I know we definitely could be getting more for some of these trades, but I'm also trying to find some glitchy players that we can build around. Alrighty, Kirby Yates for Adam Frazier, just straight up. Alrighty, for Devensky, we're getting Simber and Whitgren, both kind of just adding to that bullpen. Alrighty, for Simber, we're getting Gott and Watson. Let's see if we can add anything else how is his stats aren't great uh we can't even sneak them in either uh what about like a really bad catcher because i know you got a couple of them like francisco pena we could uh i guess we kind of do need a catcher but do i want to do this not really uh i don't think we can squeeze anybody else into this deal I mean, we hit Pablo Sandoval. I guess we'll just throw him in too. Oh, we don't get Pablo Sandoval. I lied. Um, do we have anybody I'd be willing to part ways with? You know what? Let's just do Simber, Forgot, and Watson. Might as well. It gives us an extra bullpen arm. 
Alrighty, Tony Watson is get uh, and also Adam Frazier are getting David Carpenter, Jesse Biddle, and Ariel Horado. Um, I'm really just trying to get to low to mid 70s for most players at this point, just so we at least have a base starting squad. Alrighty, Trevor Gott's getting us Chaz Rowe, Oliver Drake, and Eric Sogard. You're probably thinking, why are you just tearing apart this squad? We don't really have a choice. So Renato Nunez and Chaz Rowe are going to be traded to the Phillies for a catcher and Andrew Knapp, Roman Quinn, and Zach Eflin. All right, so after all those moves, I made a couple free agency acquisitions. I'll show you guys really quick. Uh, Roman Quinn, actually, it's probably just going to be easier for me to show you because of all the transactions I've done, moving people up and down, um, taking people off the 40 man. Oh, that was a mess. But um, this is this is what we came up with. John Means, Zach Eflin, Dylan Bundy, Ariel Horado, and then obviously Tony Gosselin is going to be still here. We just weren't able to find a fifth starter. I think we'll be okay. When we look at what we have here, Biagini, Whitgren, Carpenter, Shaw, and Drake. Um, I might even let Biagini be the, the setup guy. Actually... We'll let, we'll let Whitgren be the setup guy, and then Biddle's going to close things out. And I, I like the team. Uh, it's a lot better than what we started with. We still do have two pretty low players, but it does suck. Scooter Jeanette, free agent, might as well sign him. I forgot he was there when I saw him in free agency to kind of fill out the roster. I was like, ooh, that's a nice pickup. Aled Ms. Diaz, Nikki Delmonico is another player we signed to a two-year deal in free agency. You guys can see Scooter was a two-year deal as well. Christian Villanueva is another player that we picked up in free agency. We signed him to a two-year deal. And then when you look at the rest of the squad, Knapp, Quinn, and Sogard, and then we still have first and left to kind of fill out. I could go and just be like, all right, first base, let's get Pedro Alvarez or Mark Reynolds, but I don't really like these guys at all. Um, I looked at this, I looked at Alan Hansen as a possibility, but there really weren't any other players that I was like, ooh, they might actually help us out in the long run. So Ronnie Mauricio's there, but I feel like, meh, you know, it would be a great trade piece, but I think we're okay with what we've come up with. To think we got all these players minus Jeanette Villanueva and Delmonico from a trade. Like we basically filled up what? 15 players, 16 players, something like that, 20 players. It's, it's kind of crazy how we came up with all this players starting with Cody Ballinger. Yes, I could have kept one of the really, really good players, but I feel like we did okay. Are we a playoff team? Definitely not. Let's see how season one plays out. All right, this year, I told you we weren't a playoff team. It was pretty bad. I mean, 63 and 99, it obviously isn't the worst in history, but it might be the worst team I've ever assembled. So let's take a look, kind of see what we're working with overall. It's not amazing. Eric Sogard might have earned himself another year, but you know, when we're kind of like in a, probably a really low rated team, but overall, I mean, John means not terrible. Dylan Bundy. Okay. He's worked his way up a little bit. Ariel Horado is a little bit of a question mark, but for the most part, I think we can definitely build around this team. Um, Drake struggled a bit. Biagini struggled a bit. Carpenter was pretty solid. Okay. Whitgren struggled and Biddle. Biddle wasn't too bad. Okay. Biddle we can work with for sure. Where did we had one more like, oh no, the low rated player was there. So iffy, we definitely can make some changes to the team. We were last in the division. You guys can kind of see where we are ranked. We are last. We have sixth speed though. Six speed. That's pretty good no league leaders or awards as assumed um let's just take a look see who won mvp this year strasburg okay and then mike trout obviously cy young was carrasco and strasburg okay so we definitely have some uh some room to change the team so let's head into the off season we'll see who wins the world series the astros defeat the cubs okay and then we obviously need new coaches that'll help out as well. We had some players retire, expected, and then we'll keep moving forward. Sogard, a bench bat. If he if he'll settle for like 2.8, I'm cool with that. We don't really have too much to like trade or move any anywhere. So let me do the coaches. I'll do the coaches later. Screw it. Let's keep moving forward. And let's take a look at this arbitration i mean we gotta offer it to him we don't really have too much to work with and then contracts will offer everybody a contract free agency wise we definitely want to try to pick up some good players we are in need of an outfielder ozuna puig is there some bullpen help i think we're gonna make some splashes to start season two we're gonna get drew pomeranz we're in need of a, a long relief 
pitcher. And Pomeranz fits that role. We're also kind of in need of a lefty. We're going to be trading David Carpenter and Oliver Drake. So let me show you what we're working with now after offseason. I realized I just said after offseason like I'm some... I don't know, like I had a stroke or something, or I don't speak English, but after the offseason, this is how we're working or looking. We got Means, Bundy, Gerardo, Eflin, and Erasmo Ramirez. I'm thinking about making a couple trades, see if we can get a little bit better of a starting pitcher, maybe a bit of an ace, um, but we'll have to wait and see. Pomeranz, Santana, Biddle, Biagini, Hunter, Ramos, and Whitgren. Um, budget wise I think we're yeah we're pushing it pretty close we just kind of spread out the money obviously we picked up a couple rule five pitchers um, Hunter I think was a one-year deal for just about three million and then pitching wise I think that was really it we already had these four and there really weren't too many good pitchers available so it wasn't like I was looking to splash the cash pitching wise. It was actually a pretty bad pitching uh, free agency pool. Uh, Christian Villanueva is going to be moving to the bench as we brought in Jed Jerko on a one year deal. Yeah, one year deal. Had a pretty okay year last year. 31 home runs. I'm hoping he can bring some power to the lineup. We also brought in Yasiel Puig to kind of play one of those corner outfield spots for us. Um, Nicky Delmonico can move to left field for us. I think that'll be okay. We also brought in Jesus Aguilar on a two year deal. Pretty small deal, but. He's got some pop off the bat. I would love to ha have some more power in the lineup. And that was really about it. Um, I was pretty disappointed. Oh, Josmil Pinto. Um, I don't think I signed anybody else from free agency. It was actually a pretty poor free agency this year, which I'm a little disappointed in. Uh, for the future, I definitely want to see if we can find a new center fielder or catcher. But for now, I think with the way we've kind of built up the team, I don't think we should be last anymore. We're not. We're 28th which is a big step up. That's a huge step up. But again, uh, I feel like we made some moves. We could check to see if there's any good free agents available. Maybe like a sneaky little free agent snuck through. Jonathan Davis is okay, um, but not really someone I'd be like gung-ho on signing. It doesn't really look like any good like young players came through the free agency pool. Sometimes one sneaks through, but doesn't look like there was this year. So yeah, that's gonna be the that's gonna be the team, guys. Um, again, not too much has changed. Definitely made some splashes, but if we need to, we can always make a trade at the deadline. So let's see how season two starts. Alrighty, so we're actually taking a step in the right direction. Do we make the playoffs? No, but I think we're moving forward. We finished 86 and 76, which is actually a pretty big jump compared to where we were last year. We actually had a league leader as well, Whitgren. Uh, pretty solid with the saves. I don't remember putting him there. Oh yeah, he was. He was. He was. Um. But standings wise, we finished eight games out. We're up to 26th now. And then we missed the, the wild card by five games. So we're, we're definitely making some moves, which is good to see. Freddie Freeman was the MVP. And then Mike Trout won back to back years. Cy Young was Clayton Kershaw and Steven Strasburg once again. So when we look at the lineups, Sogard was good. But I feel like, you know, time's running out. We should find someone else to help us out on the bench. Scooter Jet was okay. His contract does run out as well. But he had a really good year. Power numbers are up. I think he could be a good second baseman for us. Yasiel Puig looks like our star player. I think we've we've got our corner outfield sorted out. Jed Jerko, I'm glad we signed him. I think I want to bring him back for another year. Those are good numbers to see. I think he's going to help us out with the power numbers same with jesus aguilar i think he's another player who could help us i led ms diaz i'm gonna bring him back because he's on arbitration but 14 home runs 70 rbis is not terrible that's not bad at all maybe move i don't know i feel like he could help us but we'll see what's available in free agency as well nikki delmonico's hitting arbitration he had a decent year the average isn't there but 22 home runs 31 doubles that's solid andrew knapp and roman quinn Roman Quinn hit 15 home runs. I'm surprised by that one. But overall, um, low averages, but it's it's okay. Uh, Christian Villanueva is looking like a pretty solid bench bat for us. So I'm good to have him there. Let's take a look at pitching because we won a lot of games. Offense was okay, but it looks like maybe the pitching stepped up. Zach Eflin's going up by a lot. Um, a 3-2 ERA. I'll take that. Dylan Bundy struggled a little bit, which is weird because he's got decent stats. But um, we'll see what happens next year. We might keep him. We might trade him. We'll see. John Means like a three starter it's not terrible uh maybe swap these two ariel Harado didn't pitch too poorly either i like that and erasmo ramirez it was okay um drew pomeran struggled edgar santana is looking like a good pickup we're gonna have arbitration with him jesse biddle's time probably done we're gonna need a new lefty in the bullpen b 
Biagini did well. Ramos struggled a little bit. I got to stop picking up Ramos. He never does well. We need to find a new new option. Hunter did very well in this, this setup role. Maybe we bring him back for another year. And then Whitgren was uh, the, the closer with the most saves. So it's looking like we found ourselves a pretty solid closer. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the way the team is shaping up. Like we've really made uh, some big steps since uh, only having 190 overall player and then everybody else was like 60 and below. The Braves defeated the Rangers in the, in the World Series and we're gonna move forward. Our manager decided to retire, which is a bummer, but we'll see what happens. We lost a couple more based on ability, but um, exclusive negotiations. Tommy Hunter was good. And I think for maybe another one year deal, I think that's not a bad option either. Scooter Jeanette, let's do 8 million. Is any second baseman gonna be available? I don't know, but I'm gonna wait. Uh, Jed Jerko wasn't a terrible, terrible player at all five million i'll definitely take that deal um and then we'll see i want to see if there's another starting pitcher available before we throw um uh, more money at players so let's take a look let's see what's available um arbitration wise i feel like we'll just give it to everybody and then we'll trade ramos if needed and then when we look at contracts everybody's going to get a contract as well looking at free agency starting pitchers stroman's available okay peacock's okay not really maybe keichel he's kind of a glitch to heron Tehran, i should say trevor bauer maybe trevor bauer we might just throw all our eggs in one basket there andrew miller perhaps so there are there are some names available let's see what we can do Alrighty, so last chance and i feel like we've really put together a pretty solid team so when we look at it i decided to give trevor bauer a chance i usually try to avoid him but you know what We'll see how he does. He's kind of our ace now. Our starting pitching was actually pretty solid last year. And I feel like we're we're in a good spot. This is where we're going to make some moves. Because uh, we brought in Shane Carl. Who I think has a pretty decent like has some pretty decent stats for a sim style franchise we're gonna get rid of jesse biddle we're gonna try to find a new lefty and then we're also gonna get uh rid of ramos so maybe package them for a really strong lefty in the bullpen and then when we move to the lineup you guys can kind of see we didn't really make any splashes um there really weren't any big names available that i was like oh we really need them so let's see if we can make a couple trades there because uh, we brought in Luis garcia and wilmer flores as bench bats who will get uh definite chances Luis garcia hits lefties pretty well and so does wilmer flores so i feel like it works well with the matchups overall the team's kind of the same let's see what trades we can make all right we're gonna trade for amir garrett um that's gonna be our lefty so we're gonna switch up the lineup a little bit we're definitely gonna see what kind of uh trades we can make um i'm just i feel like we definitely do need to make a trade all right we're gonna trade for teoscar hernandez he's got some pop off the bat had some pretty good couple years in terms of power um and i'm hoping we actually get a good year out of them and i feel like that's gonna help us out and then we can always go and sign a new catcher out of free agency um we just need a backup for pinto we traded nap and quinn for him they both were kind of our worst hitters so i guess it doesn't really matter who we sign we'll just sign him to like a one-year deal let's see if we can get him to sign it boom there's our new there's our new uh backup catcher we're gonna bring in tasca hernandez and i mean that it's not a lefty or anything but i feel like it's it's a good little pickup for us that definitely helps us out in the lineup and um it's just whoo i feel like that really does that really does help us up help us out in the lineup we'll even move him up a little bit and then this is where i feel like we should still start him just because he's definitely got some good pop off the bat so maybe go like that and then i think that's the team guys i mean i know it's not like the the craziest of teams it's not like the best team to possibly have but i still think this is a pretty good team to start with especially since we've only traded players that we've got from free agency or from the trade with cody ballinger so it's crazy to think that we've started with one player that had trade value and we've worked into something like this this is absolutely insane crazy good with what we were able to come up with so that's the team guys let's see how it plays for season three all right so we did it we made the postseason but this is kind of crazy what happened we won 94 games and we actually made it as a post like we made it as a wild card team but we had to play an extra game like i'll show you guys you guys can see 
uh we had a tiebreaker to win the division um which sucks because we could have beaten the giants and actually had that that uh division lead so looking at the our team rank we're 22nd we just got a lot of power um and i think a lot of players played above their overalls and we kind of had kind of some glitchy players so shutouts zach efflin had four Whitgren 52 saves which is awesome to see we had some awards a gold glove and a Cy Young for Trevor Bauer so I'm kind of glad that we ended up picking him up Bryce Harper won MVP and Nicholas Castellanos I actually almost picked him up instead of Puig um and uh, maybe maybe that's what we should have done maybe he would have been a really solid player for us Cy Young went to Garrett Cole and Trevor Bauer so I'm pretty happy like I said that we picked up Trevor Bauer so let's take a look at our our bench Villan Villanueva struggled a bit who got sent down that these two maybe they sent down a pitcher uh but we'll take a look because they brought up a catcher for us so um okay not too bad but let's let's take a look at the rest of the team Aledmus Diaz had a fantastic year this year almost doubled his home runs which is good to see Scooter Jeanette has still been sitting around that 260 mark but still about 20 home runs Puig Almost 40 home runs. I'll take that 100%. That's a good year from the right fielder. Jed Jerko, again, very consistent in the home runs and run production. I mean, he was a great pickup for us. Teoscar Hernandez, one isn't as good as last year, but still decent production, especially since Roman Quinn was putting up, like, what, 15 home runs? Um, so I'm happy there. Jesus Aguilar struggled quite a bit. So maybe he's a player that we, you know, maybe try to move out of the lineup if we were continuing this. Nicky Delmonico was not a bad free agency pickup at all. This is a great year from him. Uh, Wilmer Flores took over at third, and he was a very consistent bat for us. And then obviously our catcher wasn't terrible. 18 home runs, I'll take that. So let's take a look at our pitching because it looks like our pitching was really, really pulling the strings with this team. Sub three ERA for Trevor Bauer. Pretty happy that we paid him the big bucks to be our ace. John Means with the 357 ERA, definitely not bad at all. Zach Eflin, very strong season. Dylan Bundy as well. And then Ariel Jurado as a five starter. I'll definitely take that, not terrible. Drew Pomeranz, I'm pretty sure he had a, a, almost a five ERA last year. He brings it down to a 286 this year. Solid. Tommy Hunter struggled a little bit. Struggled a little bit for sure. Uh, Shane Carl was pretty good. Biagini, I mean, great year. 286 ERA. Gotta love it. Amir Garrett struggled a little bit. And then Edgar Santana was a great rule five pickup. Like, look, at, just look at that year. That's great. Two solid years. Love it. And then Whitgren, he's been a very, very good closer for us. And he even blew nine saves. So he was pretty busy throughout the year. So wild card game. Here we go. Quick manage. You know the deal. Let's keep moving forward. And uh, we're going to have Trevor Trevor Bauer be the man for today. All right. In the corner. Lineup versus the Nationals. We're taking on that two-time Cy Young winner, Steven Strasburg. This is going to be a tough game. Merrifield's a new name. Hunter Dozier's new but um, it looks like a, a pretty standard Nationals team. So this is going to be a tough one. Strasburg's definitely got some good stuff. But, you know, I think if we can get maybe one, two runs in early, I think we'll be good. Like this spot right here, no outs. We got to get a run in and a double play. That hurts. That one hurts a lot. So can, there we go. Led Miss Diaz brings in one. I was going to say, can we just get that one run? That'd be huge. Um, first and second for Jerko with no outs. Aguilar base is loaded for Delmonico. There we go. We get one in. Two runs thanks to Josh Tolley. I love it. They take out Strasburg. We got a four-run leave. Tyson Ross's brothers come in. Trevor Bowers pitching a gem. We got to keep it going. A triple there. Couldn't get that run in. But... Had to be safe. Had to be safe. We're taking on the Phillies. Whoo. Whoo. A little worried there. Um, I'm going to move Trevor Bauer down a, just, a, just a couple spots. And then we'll do, we'll do that. So we can actually have um, Bauer if we need him for this series. So game one, we lost three to one. Um, I wonder if that was means it was Santana that lost the game there. All right. So here we go. Eflin. We lose that one too, so it comes down to this. Let's hop into it. I mean, 
so far i'm pretty happy with the team we were able to put together we're gonna have Bund uh bauer on the mound not bundy looking at their lineup max muncie's new um is that chris davis in center field are you serious that shouldn't work scooter Jeanette starts us off right there we go it is chris davis in center field that's ridiculous they have chris davis in center field that's unreal bases loaded for jerko couldn't couldn't score the run but still really solid game so far i i feel i was gonna say i need an insurance run i feel like we need an insurance run to ask her hernandez to run bomb perfect trevor bowers just lights out this postseason gotta love it as i say that chris davis goes deep and scott kingery does as well so we're gonna take him out we're gonna go to tommy hunter all right so three two game can we get an insurance run here? Bases loaded with no outs. We have to. We are not going to get an insurance run. Bases loaded, no outs, no insurance run. That is not good. Whitgren, please. What? Chris Davis hurts us like that. Um, what, what that hurts, that hurts. All right. Well, let's, that's, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate indeed. But to think we went from a team with one good pitcher and we turned it in, or not even a pitcher, just one good player in Cody Bellinger. And we turned it into this, a playoff team. That was, you know, only getting better. And I mean, just unreal. I can't believe we were able to assemble a team like this after just starting with one player and then trading from there. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's one player rebuild. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure you turn on the notifications so you're notified whenever a video does go live. And also leave a comment. Let me know what future videos you would like to see. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.